On our tour, we're going to travel to different times and places and hear from James Madison of Virginia and Alexander Hamilton of New York, two people who played major roles in the writing and the creation of the Constitution. Do you know what a Constitution is? Well, it's a framework or an outline of a government. And the United States Constitution is the oldest written framework of a government in existence today. So let's get this tour started. Hang on, here we go. Our first stop, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the year 1776. This is Independence Hall. It's called that because it was here on July 4th, 1776, that representatives from the 13 colonies declared independence from Great Britain and King George III. With the signing of the Declaration of Independence, America became a free and independent country. Without British rule, there was no government in place, so the leaders of the Continental Congress had to create one. In fact, Richard Henry Lee of Virginia had proposed the creation of the new government at the same time that he called for the Declaration of Independence. I propose that a plan of confederation be prepared and transmitted to the respective colonies for their consideration. A committee was formed to write the document. The committee didn't want to create a government that was too powerful, and they certainly didn't want a powerful leader like King George III. That's what they were fighting to get away from. The government the committee came up with was called the Articles of Confederation. A confederation is a very loose association of strong, independent parts. Under the Articles of Confederation, the states had most of the power. The central government had very little power. The new government went into effect in 1781, but almost from the beginning, it was clear that the Articles of Confederation weren't going to work. James Madison of Virginia was one of the most outspoken critics of the Articles of Confederation. This government cannot succeed because the Articles of Confederation lack the great principles of a political system. It's merely a treaty of friendship between the various states. And this is what Alexander Hamilton of New York thought of the Confederation. The fundamental deficiency with this government is that Congress has no power. Now, Congress must have powers to deal with national problems. And there is no central court system. So when various states have a dispute, there is no place for them to go to work out their differences. Now, the third deficiency, and this is a great one, is that there is no central leader, no chief executive that the people can point to as the head of government. No Congress with any real power, no head of government, no court system. Hold on, time to move again.